So this is my super simple PVA bag rig. Um, I've got a three ounce flat pair inline lead and the reason for using an inline is it fits inside the, the confines of a small PVA bag uh, much better than say a, a lead clip or running rig or that sort of lead arrangement. Um, coming down from that I've just got a, a four inch length of 25 pound uh, reflex camo which is a soft supple braid again I'm using a, a braid braided material because it's easier to fold inside a, a bag than a, a mono or a, a coated braid um, I've got a BB split shop just uh, just pinched onto the line there and that when trimmed down critically balances one of my as yet unnamed, soon to be released special jobby pop-ups. Um, the reason I've, I've, I've whittled the pop-up down is for me, a BB size shot is nice and neat. And if I start using bigger shot, it just looks a little bit more clumsy. So I'd rather use a BB shot and then whittle a the pop-up down so that, that, that the shot just to say sinks it rather than adding more weight. Um, then I've just got a size 6 wide gate beak point hook which is just a knotless knot set up and a little bit of fine silicon there on the shank of the hook to uh, trap the hair in place and also act as a, a blowback rig. And that's it and that's all just um, direct onto a £23 Fox Exocet mainline. Really really simple so let's get it inside a solid bag and cast it out onto that uh, little um, clean spot that I found out there. Now a lot of people ask me how do I tie up my solid PVA bags, well this is how I do it. I've got the Rapid PVA loader systems here and I start off by putting in a small amount of, of bag mix in the bottom of the bag. So we've probably got about an inch, maybe not quite, in the bottom there. Next I lower in the entire rig. So hook bait in first and I use the lead to tap the hook base into that layer of ground bait in the bottom and then put in another fine layer of ground bait then pull the lead and the hook link tightish then lower the lead back down that way I've got a little bit of, of separation so I've got the hook and the hook bait and a fine layer of ground bait covering that so that protects the hook from then potentially getting caught on the swivel that's coming out the bottom of the lead and then top up the bag so that the insert of the PVA is just to say poking through the top so all in all now the PVA um, bag is probably about half full so you don't really need to fill it any more than that so at half full and then hold the bottom or hold the, the, the filled part of the bag tight and then twist twist the top round once I start twisting and then lick the PVA that's on the loading tool. Carry on twisting and slide the, the loader down onto the bag. Hold it for a, a couple of seconds and then the PVA has set and stuck to the rest of the bag. And then poke the corners of the bag in and with the little tag ends, pull them tight to take out any of the, the slack in the bag. Lick them and fold them over and stick. And that would be almost a finished bag. Well, it is a finished bag, but I like to, uh, I like to then dip the bag into some Amino Blend 365. And for me, that just tightens the bag a lot more. And also, um, it slows down the dissolve of the PVA. It's quite deep water that we're casting into there. And although the water temperatures are still low and the PVA dissolve time will be reduced, I just want to make sure that makes it to the lake bed in one piece.
Now when it comes to having a recast with a bag, what I do is drop the entire rig into my bucket of PVA bag mix so that the powder dries off any excess water. Otherwise, of course, it'll melt the PVA bag when you, when you lower it in. Well, this is the PVA bag mix that I'm, I'm using and it's made up of around 50% of live system base mix um, and then 25% mega blend which is a nice fruity um, it's, it's actually a base mix additive um, it's got all sorts of goodies in there that the carp love I like to say it's got a lovely fruity aroma and then to give it a bit more uh, food content I've got about 25% of the oily bag mix now if it was summer then I'd probably just use the oily bag mix as the, as the main PVA bag ingredient. But as we are still only just going into spring and the water temperatures are cold, then I like to use the, the, the live system because of the lower oil content.